Lost pride of a prince, Harry devastated at Charles's decision to kick Duke out in royal precedence. Confusion continues over what it means to be a working versus non-working royal. During the final vigils, they stood in honour of Queen Elizabeth II. Both Prince Harry, Duke of Sussex, and Prince Andrew, Duke of York, were given special permission to wear their military uniforms by King Charles III. Prince Harry has reportedly been left devastated and after the Queen's ER initials were removed from the shoulder of his military uniform as he held vigil by her coffin last night, after Prince Andrew was allowed to keep the royal cipher. The source said today that the flip-flopping over uniform and the Buckingham Palace reception could make him feel as if the majority of the operation is against you. It's hard, nobody likes to feel like they're being excluded. The gold ER insignia, standing for Elizabeth Regina, was missing from Prince Harry's uniform, however. The monarch's initials are only worn by those in service of the monarch, so the initials were seemingly removed because Prince Harry stepped down from official duties. He's heartbroken. To remove his grandmother's initials feels very intentional. The insignia was still seen on the uniform of Prince Andrew, the Duke of York, the night before, adding fuel to the theory that this was an intentional slight against Harry, given Andrew's standing with the family and as a royal. Initially, he was not allowed to wear his military uniform because Prince Harry is not a working royal. The decision raised several eyebrows, but the royal who served in the military for 10 years did not argue and wanted to let the people focus on the Queen's legacy. Some have praised the decision as decisive, but the diary editor Richard Eden believes the new king is making a mistake. While I think the king made the right decision in banning Harry and Andrew from wearing their uniforms, I think it was a mistake that he's allowed Andrew to wear his for the vigil in front of the Queen's coffin in Westminster Hall, Eden explained. It doesn't seem right then for Prince Harry to then be denied any opportunity. I can't see any logic behind that exception at all, I'm afraid. He adds that Prince Harry will be understandably upset that his uncle Andrew is allowed to wear a Vice Admiral's uniform for the private event. Eden notes that supporters of the Sussexes have also been left in uproar over the decision. Piers Morgan also believes Prince Harry should be allowed to wear his military uniform to honour the Queen. I think his behaviour since quitting Britain and royal duty has been appallingly selfish, greedy and damaging to the monarchy. But one thing I will never begrudge him is the right to be properly respected for his military service, which included two tours of Afghanistan. He added, And I don't think it's right that he's been banned from wearing his uniform at events to commemorate the death of his grandmother, Queen Elizabeth II. Fans who've been watching the event online shared their thoughts on Twitter, with many raging that Harry was not in uniform, while other members of the royal family were. Prince Harry not being in uniform with his brother and father is incredibly jarring. He served his country well. Not his fault his wife was bullied out. Putting Harry on the same level as Andrew and not allowing him to wear a uniform is a national disgrace, a second penned. Really seems inappropriate to me that Prince Harry isn't allowed to wear his military uniform because he's not a working royal, but he's the one who actually saw combat in Afghanistan, a third added. If the monarchy is trying to stay relevant, this seems like a bad move.